Welcome to my Tea and Tidbits today, where I share with you bites of old-fashioned goodness and loveliness to inspire you in your traditional, joyful, and feminine Catholic journey. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the value of the Sacred Heart Chaplet. I want to share with you a wonderful scone recipe with some pictures, and then I'd like to have a little fashion show for your inspiration in your modesty journey. Come and join me today on Catholic Finer Femininity. Let's first talk about a simple prayer. I want to introduce you to this little gold nugget of prayer I have been using lately. Maybe you are familiar with it. It is the Sacred Heart Chaplet. The chaplet itself is filled with wonderful indulgence prayers. In your morning prayers, it is a good thing to remember to ask to obtain all the indulgences throughout the day that we gain with our prayers. That way it is taken care of for the day, as we probably say other prayers with indulgences, one of them being the family rosary. Back to the Sacred Heart Chaplet. It has simple prayers. On the small beads you say, Sweetheart of Jesus, be my love. There is a beginning and end prayer, and then on the big beads you will say, O sweetest heart of Jesus, I implore, that I may ever love thee more and more. It is a beautiful prayer to say after receiving Jesus in Holy Communion, realizing that Jesus is within you. These simple prayers of the chaplet will help us to turn inward to adore him who is within our very being. It helps us to keep our focus. It's nice to have this set of chaplet beads. You can get those on my shop if you like, or you can take a cheaper rosary and turn it into a sacred heart chaplet. It's always nice to move our fingers along the beads as we say the prayers. I also have a video where I say the chaplet of the sacred heart. You can learn it that way and then just say it on your own if you're taking a walk or if you're waiting for somebody. And then, like I said, after you receive Holy Communion. I will include that link at the end of this video. Now I'd like to talk about your kitchen and a recipe. Here's a quote for you. No matter where I serve my guests, it seems they like my kitchen best. Our kitchen is definitely the heart of the home over here. And I think my married children would say the same. It is where wonderful smells waft through the air, reminding everyone in the home that someone cares enough to bake for the family. Fall is an especially nice time to bake as the weather is getting cooler which usually means tummies are hungrier. Also, firing up the oven doesn't heat up the whole house. We have a special chai tea recipe that we have made in the past that you may be interested in. It's a lovely beverage to offer your guests with a dab of whipped cream gracing the top. That link is in the description below. Talking about kitchen. Baking in the kitchen provides special memories and it is one of the things that we can do to tighten those bonds with our kids. Teresa's older children can now make many dishes on their own, from dinners to baked goods. Next time Teresa is down with a pregnancy, the kids will have no problem taking over. This week, my granddaughter, Teresa's daughter, Sienna, made some lovely scones to sell at the Shakespeare Festival. That is one food that I very much appreciate, scones. She made four different kinds, pumpkin, lemon, poppy seed, and chocolate. She sold many of them and was quite tickled to make some spending money for the festival. I will include the link for these delicious scones in the description below. I forgot to mention that my granddaughter Gracie, Colin and Z's oldest girl, also helped make the scones for the Shakespeare Festival. So it was a joint effort with lots of camaraderie between cousins. Will You Be My Friend? That's the title of a new Catholic Hearth storybook that I just wrote. Set in rhyme, Timmy looks for a friend. His quest ends in finding a friend, but not before he realizes that Jesus is his best friend. A sweet book for your children. Look for the link to purchase it in the description below. I have four other Catholic Hearth stories written for the children. I will include that link too. I had fun putting together this fall fashion show. As you know, we all appreciate modesty over here, and we also like to dress for the seasons. 
So join me as we get some inspiration from our fall outfits this year. The girls had a friend visiting from Idaho. Genevieve was willing to join us in our fall fashion show. Also, Madeline, their friend, is in the photos. We had a lovely couple visiting from Nebraska. Juliet is expecting her second child and was willing to take part, too. I also have my daughter-in-law, Elizabeth, and her mom in the photos. I have included pictures of hairdos over the past two weekends at the Shakespeare Festival. Also pictures of the Kanzashi flowers that the girls made. Rosie does most of the fancy hairdos around here. I do believe God has a sense of humor giving me seven girls with not much of a desire or an aptitude for doing hair. But he always provides and I find that all of my girls are good with hair, keeping their locks looking lovely and neat and usually simple on most days. The girls have been making these Kanzashi flowers for quite some time now. They are a hit at the Shakespeare Festival and at our Catholic family weekends. Jin and Jeanette sell quite a few of them. It always amazes me how they can take little pieces of ribbon and by cutting, folding, gluing, and burning them, they are able to turn out an intricate and lovely flower as an accessory for your purse, hair, outfit, etc. Maybe you will get some ideas on some modest fall fashions for your own wardrobe this season. Looking ordinary takes on a certain kind of flair when a woman dons a dress. It is extraordinary in our day and age. And when you add a touch of the season, it brings joy to yourself and to those around you. It is important to take pride in being a woman. The girls don't spend a lot of time each day putting themselves together. It is just a way of life. They add sunshine to a room even on the dreary days. More time is taken during fall festival days and that is special too.
And just a reminder that we don't spend oodles of money on outfits. We go to one particular thrift store, God's Storehouse, to get most of them. Sometimes we will go to Goodwill. Genevieve gets some of her outfits from eShakti, which is an online store. I will include that link below. Thank you for tuning in today to my Tea and Tidbits version of Finer Femininity. You can come and visit me at my Finer Femininity website. I have a Facebook page too where I share with you inspirations of all kinds. I also have lots of beautiful handcrafted items in my Meadows of Grace shop. Look for those links in the description below. May God bless you and Our Lady cover you with her mantle. St. Anne, pray for us.